Hey everyone, let's continue with human respiratory system. In the last session, we studied about uh, first two parts of airways that is nose, nasal cavity and pharynx. Now we are going to study about the later parts of the airways. Now, after the air reaches the pharynx, which is a common part for digestive and respiratory system, uh, the, then uh, suppose this is a pharynx. So you have then two pipes. The pipe which is ventral, ventral in biology is said to be the front side of the body and dorsal in biology is said to be the back side of the body, okay. Back side is said to be dorsal, okay. So after pharynx it has two pipes. Now the air is confused whether I should go to the first pipe or to the second pipe. Okay, so the first pipe here is said to be trachea, that is a wind pipe, and the second pipe, the pipe which is behind, is said to be the foot pipe, also said to be esophagus, as we discussed earlier. Okay, now what will ensure that the air always moves into the trachea or the food always moves into the foot pipe? So it is said that at this opening this opening of trachea is said to be glottis okay glottis is an opening or you can say an aperture the start of the windpipe is said to be glottis and above this you have a flap like structure okay above this you just have a flap like structure this way or you can say a lead like structure so what happens this lead like structure is said to be epiglottis Okay, the lead like structure is said to be epiglottis. Now, what happens when you swallow the food? Air can enter any pipe. There is no harm if the air enters the esophagus also. But if the air enters the wind pipe, it, uh, sorry, if the food enters the wind pipe, what happens? It gets stuck in the wind pipe and it may lead to problem in breathing. Hence, the food should always enter the food pipe only. So what happens when you swallow the food, see here, when you swallow the food, what happens, this from here the food will come. So because of the pressure of the food, the flap automatically closes. From here you will give the pressure and here on this pipe, which is the, uh, there is glottis and the flap will automatically close because of the pressure applied by the food. Okay, so when this flap closes, the epiglottis closes. But obviously there is only one way for the food to enter and hence the food will enter only the wind pipe. Uh, sorry, the food pipe. The food will enter only the food pipe. Hence this epiglottis is present over the wind pipe or over the glottis which is a flap like structure. And what is the function of this flap like structure? The function of this flap like structure is to prevent the entry of food into the wind pipe. The food has to always enter the uh, what is known as a uh, food pipe only okay now below this glottis below the opening of trachea you have a small box present here okay i'll just color it this small box is a very very important structure present at the starting of glottis or present at the starting of your trachea your windpipe what is this box I am able to speak because of this box present in my body. So this box which is present at the starting of our uh, trachea, you can see this, is said to be larynx. Okay, larynx is also said to be voice box. It is also said to be Adam's apple. You remember Adam's apple? Yes, it is also said to be voice box. It is also said to be Adam's apple. And what is there in this void box? In this voice box, there are two vocal cords. In this way, you can say there are two vocal, sorry, vocal cords. And what happens when the air enters between this vocal cord? What happens? It vibrates. And because of the vibration of the vocal cord, sound is being produced. So, you understand to some extent how sound is being produced when two cords will vibrate against each other. You might have seen bands. 
bands have something which they keep on banging ag against each other and because of which the sound gets produced in the same way this vocal cords will vibrate against each other and why they will vibrate they will vibrate when the air enters your vocal cords and when they vibrate then the sound will be produced so it is said that sound is produced because of the vibration of the vocal cord and hence this box is said to be larynx after larynx you have a very very important structure that is trachea windpipe you should not say windpipe since we are a biology student so you should say it is trachea trachea it is present in your neck region this trachea okay this is present in your neck region so what you can imagine now you have nose nasal cavity then you have pharynx and then you have this epiglottis glottis then you can say a vocal cord and then you have this pipe which is present in the neck region which is said to be trachea okay now this trachea you can see it is surrounded by this ring like structures when you draw trachea you have to always draw a c shaped ring structure okay what is this c shaped ring structure they are said to be cartilaginous rings why are they said to be cartilaginous rings because they are made up of a tissue that is said to be cartilage and why are this cartilaginous rings present uh, it is a spring like structure okay if you don't keep a spring what will happen the structure of the pen pen refill which is there inside will not be pushed forward or will not maintain its structure okay so what happens if this ring like structure is not present this trachea will collapse it will become like a ball like structure so to keep this trachea extended you have cartilaginous rings present around okay so while please remember you just have to remember two three things about trachea it is also said to be the wind pipe it is present in our uh, neck region and uh, it is surrounded by cartilaginous rings c shaped cartilaginous rings these rings are present to keep the trachea or pipe extended or intended means in the same position otherwise it will collapse it will come down and become like a ball like structure and there will be no passage of air into our lungs okay remaining things we'll discuss in the next session if you have any doubt please write in the comment section thank you so much